Okay, now we're on to the fun part, the relationship of boxes to actual pages. And I'm going to be jumping back and forth between uh, slides and the website and, um, uh, and an HTML view so you can kind of see this. But we're going to start off here with our slide. Um, if we open up the skin editor for the Barking Chihuahua Cafe, we're going to look at the front page template and look at the front page at the same time. So let's go to the front page template. And we'll go to the front page, which is where we are. Now, the body is the main container, right? everything is in, contained inside of the body and the body is the entire browser window all of your every PC or website that is visible is contained inside of the body so as an illustration the body box right because that HTML body is a box the body box contains everything every template has a body box and the um, and the body always contains everything so you're never going to have anything in a web page that's not inside the body so that's the lowest level of of containment and organization in the template inside the body uh, we have the container box right and the container box contains everything else so you can see the container box actually has sides right it's got left and right sides um, as you'll see a little while later it also has some top and bottom space too although that's not evident in this illustration but the body has uh, the the container has a dimension the body always fills the entire browser window period the container is however big you make it and in this case the container is the width of the page or this container is the width of the page All right, there's the container. And the container is everything we see here. All right? If we if we just look at the raw HTML here for a second, there's your body, there's your container. All right? Body, container. Okay. Next up, inside the container then, the first uh, box inside the container is the nav menu. And notice the nav menu is at the top of the container. That's the way this works, right? You, you work your way from top down. Sometimes there are things left to right, but left is always first, right is always second then, right? In, in terms of order. And you'll see that again. But the nav menu is this section right here up at the top. The header then is this section. And so if we come back over here and we open up our container, you can see we've got a menu, right? We already saw that. And then you've got a header. And the header is that second section inside of the container. Again, the header. The next is the columns box, and the columns box starts at the bottom of the header and goes down to the top of the footer, but contains both the content and the sidebar. So there's your columns box. If you open it up, it contains the content column and the sidebar. There's your columns box. If we come over here and open up columns, you've got your content and your sidebar, but that is the columns box. Right, so you can see the HTML and how the HTML progresses with these boxes, or the relationship of these boxes to the HTML. So then you move on to the footer box, and the footer box is the last box inside the container, and it's at the bottom of your web page, right? 
And so again, that's your footer box here. And the footer is in this case here. Right? It's the bottom of your web page. It's below the columns. And that's that footer box. Okay, then your header box is actually divided up into other sections, right? The header box has both the site title and the site tagline. So now ours is a little bit different here because we are not we're not actually showing our site title and tagline. It's been replaced with our image. But in fact, the header still actually has a site title and still has a site tagline. They just are um, set off to the side, off of the screen. So you can't really see them, but they're actually still there. And if you open up your header, there's your site title, there's your site tagline, right? If you rearrange it, you can rearrange it. Okay. Site title, site tagline. Inside the header box. Okay. Similar kind of thing is true for the columns box. The columns box has both the content column and the sidebar column inside of it. So the columns box spans that whole width of the page, but has both of these uh, elements in it. So close up the header. Here's our columns with our content column and our sidebar. Again, close up the header. Here's our columns with our content column and our sidebar. Okay, all contained inside the columns box. And then inside the columns box are more containers or are more boxes. There is the content, there's the, I'm sorry, the content box and the sidebar box. So, and then it starts to get more complicated. Because if we open up our columns box, there's the content and the sidebar, right? If we, and, and even though these are left and right, right, because they, they are left and right, right? There's, we don't have them laid out left and right. The left one is at the top and the right one is below it. That's the way HTML lays out. HTML doesn't write itself in left and right positions either. So this follows the HTML convention of having what's leftmost above what's right. Okay, so your content column and inside your content column, you have things like a WP loop and then Inside of the loop, you have your post and page, your post page box. Inside of that is your headline area. Inside of the headline area is the author avatar and the headline and the byline. I realize I'm kind of going a little slower than I expected. So, for example, there you are in your headline. You know, it, the headline's got both the, the headline and the byline. So you've got both your headline and your byline. Notice that in the headline, there's the author avatar and the headline. Uh, and you also notice the author avatar isn't showing up. And the reason the author, tar, author avatar isn't showing up is because we told it not to show up um, in the content options. All right over here under content, under post and page output, we said we unchecked author avatar. If this was checked, it would be showing up there. So this is a switch that turns on and off the display of that box in the template. Yeah, let's go back here. And the, so the headline area has the headline and the byline. And our byline has, you know, author, date, and edit link in it. And in fact, right now we have all of those things turned off. So none of those things are showing up um, in here because the only thing that's showing up is the edit link because there actually isn't a way 
in, in Thesis Classic to turn off the edit link. So if we look under um, content and under post and under headline area, uh, here's our byline and our byline has in it the uh, post edit link. Okay, So these are examples of these boxes inside of posts, or boxes inside of boxes, which make up your HTML structure. Okay, the same thing is true with the sidebars, right? The sidebar consists of a sidebar box and then a text box and a widgets box. So back over here and look at our sidebar. We've got our text box and our widgets box, which in this case is our text box and our widgets box all inside of our sidebar, right? So hopefully that's helping you get a sense of of how these boxes come together. All right, and then you have, obviously have the footer, which is down below all that. That's how all these uh, boxes come together. You simply stack, arrange, and nest boxes within each other in order to make ultimately make this arrangement. And that's the kind of stuff that we will be doing um, as we work our way through this um, for the rest of the hour and a piece that we're together.